Hello friends and welcome to edupedia.com In today's video we are going to learn how and when to use capital letters and accents in Spanish. Let's start with the capital letters called in Spanish mayúsculas. Mayúsculas. So, when do we use capital letters in Spanish? Well, there are a few rules that you should know. First of all, you have to keep in mind that capital letters in Spanish are not always used as the same way as capital letters in English. Now that you know this, let's take a look at the rules for using the capital letters in Spanish. First of all, the days of the week and months are never capitalized. So, as you can see on the screen, when you say February in English, it goes with a capital letter, but when you say febrero, febrero, in Spanish, it doesn't. Same happens with lunes, Monday, lunes, lunes, Monday. So, days of the week and months never go capitalized. So, as it happens in English and so many languages, in Spanish, you also start a sentence always with a capital letter. There is a tricky thing. The pronoun yo, which is the pronoun I in English. In Spanish, it never goes capitalized. Never. So, you always write yo with the small letters, never cap letters. Instead, in English, it doesn't matter where you find the pronoun I, it will always go with a capital letter. Also, proper names as people names, names of cities, countries, companies, streets, etc. goes always with capital letters as it happens with English and so many other languages. As you can see on the screen, Mar Mario Vargas Llosa, Argentina, Bogotá, they always go with capital letters. But the proper adjectives as in Colombian coffee, that Colombian goes with capital letter, but if you translate it into Spanish, it doesn't. So, café colombiano goes with the small letters, but Colombian coffee goes with the capital letter. As well, people's titles goes with the small letters instead of capital letters. So, President Obama would be capitalized, while Presidente Obama won't. Same happens with Professor, Doctor, Masters, Miss, Mister, etc. Proper nouns also don't go capitalized. So, if you have in English the fan Spaniard, Spaniard will go with capital letter, while El Español Divertido, that Español, won't be capitalized. And it is the same for the book titles. You only capitalize the first word of a book title unless the title contains a proper name, of course. So, as you can see, Cien Años de Soledad, which would be 100 Years of Solitude, is not capitalized. While in English, every word is capitalized. So, those were the basic rules for using mayúsculas in Spanish. Now, let's try to understand what an accent is and how to use it. Well, in Spanish there are two types of words to refer an accent, okay? You have the acentos and the tildes. Let's see, first of all, the differences between them. An acento, an accent, is a stressed pattern in a word. And 
it is not breathing. You, you, there is no no sign of that stress pattern in that wall. Okay, it's like in your life, just like where you put the emphasis when saying a word, and then the tilde. It is breathing accent, as you can see in the screen. That's that little accent, that little sign that you put on top of the letters, and it indicates an irregular stress pattern in a word. It means that whatever that accent or that tilde, that sign, is put, that's where you put the emphasis. So every word has an accent, but they don't, they don't necessarily have tilde. That, mean, that means that when you see a word, you have to put the emphasis wherever the accent is. You will learn it as you learn words, but when you see a word with a tilde, you have to put the emphasis there because the same word with or without tilde might mean different things. So you have to be aware that accents are part of the words. You cannot take them off. Now using them could lead to misunderstandings and grammar and orthography mistakes. So you better try to memorize the words with their accents, their tildes. So in Spanish there are three basic accents shown by tildes and for the next minutes we are gonna see an example of each of them. Try to repeat after me every word. If you have any doubt on the pronunciation you can stop the video and go back. The first accent is the one found in the word bonbon, bon, bon, bonbon, which means chocolate. As you can see on the screen, the emphasis of this word goes to the last sil syllable. That's mean that you have to put there the emphasis, so it is pronounced bonbon. Every word that is that has the tilde on the top of the last vocal would be pronounced like this. Boom, boom. You put the emphasis there. You can also find the tilde on the top of the second vowel if you come from, from the back of the wall. Okay? From the second from the second syllable from the back of the wall, as it happens in Rio, Rio, Rio. You can also you can also find the the accent like this in our longer wall, and we'll see it later, and in future videos, like many words with this kind of accent, you just put the emphasis there in that syllable ri o the last kind of accent is only found in longer in longer words the world need, needs to have at least three syllables to find it this is the the accent that you find in the word telefono okay the tilde is on the top of the third vowel from the right, the third syllable from the from the right, okay? And and it is pretty common in long in, in long words and you just have to put the emphasis there. Telefono 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 So this was all. 
this is everything you need to know about capitalization and accents in Spanish, mayúsculas, acentos y tildes. I hope you enjoyed the video and the next video we will, we will be seeing uh, greetings and farewells and also formalities. So, once again, thank you for watching and hasta la próxima. See you later.